Gaza War, Day 152. And across Gaza, the Israeli Air Force carried out strikes against more than 50 Hamas targets over the past day. The targets included rocket launching positions, weapon depots, tunnel shafts, and other infrastructure. Earlier, the IDF completed destroying and sealing the largest Hamas attack tunnel found in Gaza, which the military initially revealed in December during its offensive against the Palestinian terror group. The IDF said its 98th Division, operating at the Hamad Town residential complex in South Gaza's Khan Yunus, captured dozens of terror operatives. The division's commando brigade had been raiding Hamas sites in the neighborhood where troops seized a large amount of weapons. The army also facilitated the evacuation of civilians from the area and nabbed dozens of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad gunmen who tried to flee with the civilians. As cross-border fighting between the IDF and Hezbollah continues, Defense Minister Gallen said that Israel is nearing its military option in South Lebanon. Hezbollah fired a barrage of rockets that were mostly intercepted by Iron Dome defense, but an RPG damaged a home in Kiryat Shmona. The IDF responded by hitting Hezbollah launch sites used to fire rockets and anti-tank missiles at Kiryat Shmona. The latest attack came as Gallant was meeting U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein. Gallant told Hochstein that Hezbollah's continued attacks on Israel were bringing the country closer to a decision regarding military action in Lebanon. During a meeting in Beirut this week, Hochstein said that war between Israel and Hezbollah would not be containable but added that the U.S. was optimistic about restoring stability in South Lebanon and northern Israel. Mediators are continuing talks toward a hostage for a ceasefire deal in Gaza ahead of Ramadan, but the talks for hostage release and truce deal in Cairo appear to be bogged down. Hamas said that it was keeping negotiators in Egypt at the request of mediators. Talks have been ongoing in Cairo for two days, though Israel declined to send a delegation after Hamas refused to provide a list of living hostages. U.S. President Biden said that the deal for a ceasefire in Gaza in exchange for the hostages is in the hands of Hamas. He underlined that a ceasefire was necessary to get more aid into Gaza. The outline of the deal reportedly includes the release of 40 hostages in exchange for a 40-day pause in fighting and the release of some 400 Palestinian security prisoners. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.